we are going to review how to use the Pandora app on our Android device. Locate the Pandora icon on one of the screens on your device and tap it to get started. The app will load into the last station that you played on the device. The free version will always load an advertisement on the screen to begin with. You can click on the X to close the ad if you wish. Clicking on the three bars in the upper right hand corner will reveal a menu. You can click on the new station to create a new station for yourself. You then have the options to purchase the track in a digital form, bookmark the track, tell Pandora that you're tired of listening to this track, share the station or track via Facebook. The publish to Facebook option must be turned on for this to work. We will review that in the settings tab later in this video. You can also set up a sleep timer to listen to music while you fall asleep or to use Pandora as an alarm clock if you wish. Click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner to return to the Pandora screen. Tap the P with the arrow in the upper left hand corner of the screen to open your settings menu. It opens to the tab which allows you to create a station based on an artist, composer, or genre. I'm going to set up a station for Mozart. I will tap in the Create New Station field and input Mozart and click on the search button. I will tap on the Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart button to add that station to my list and begin playing the station. The top of the screen displays information about the track that is playing. The middle of the screen will display album covers and art if any are available for the track that is playing. The lower portion of the screen displays your pause and play buttons along with thumbs up and thumbs down in the skip track button. If you use the thumbs up and thumbs down on tracks as they are playing, Pandora will learn your listening preferences and adapt accordingly. At the bottom of the screen is a volume control slider. If I tap the skip track button, it will advance me or skip to the next selection from Pandora. However, you're only allowed to do this six times per hour and 24 times a day with the free version of Pandora. Frequently you will encounter a commercial when you click on the skip button. Pandora will also play several commercials per hour with the free version of Pandora. Because Pandora organizes itself in the form of radio stations, it may also play music from other artists and composers that are in a similar genre. For example here, when I click skip, it plays a track from Vivaldi. I'm going to tap on the P in the upper left hand corner to go back to the menu system and click on the feed tab. If you have friends or acquaintances that also use Pandora, you can follow them and listen to the same stations as they are. On the profile tab is where the information is stored about you that other users may see if you do not wish for other users to see any personal information you are not required to enter any here. The bottom portion of the screen displays your recent activity in Pandora. The settings tab gives you access to your account information, privacy settings, notifications, advanced settings, and the ability to subscribe for free for a monthly fee to Pandora One. This has no commercials and allows you to skip to the next track. You are still limited to six skips per hour, but there is no daily maximum. The account tab allows you to specify your email, password. You will have to input your birth year to use Pandora as you must be over 13 years of age. Your zip code and gender allows Pandora to target ads to you. And you also have the ability to decide if you want to hear explicit content in your music. 
The privacy menu determines if you have a public or private profile, if people can comment on your profile, if you want to connect Pandora to Facebook. If you connect to Facebook, it will let all of your friends on Facebook know what stations and music you are listening to when you click on the Publish to Facebook option in the menu. The notification menu allows you to select which notifications you receive from Pandora via email or as a text message to your phone. The advanced menu settings has settings for higher quality audio. If you're listening through a home entertainment system, you may find this option useful. You can determine if Pandora shuts off the screen to conserve the battery and if it automatically launches when it detects Bluetooth devices that use your phone as a media player. If you click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner, it opens a small menu that gives you the option to sort your stations by date or by name and to quick the app. Now that you've watched the video, open up your Pandora app and start listening to your favorite music.